first of all, I want to say uh, hello to everyone and uh, thanks for joining today's webinar. Welcome. And uh, Owen, uh, we are happy to have Alessia from AI Tech to join as a co-host. And in next slide, we will give an introduction about ourselves. Today, we are going to talk about how to leverage AI video analytics to supercharge your monitoring solution, then bring efficiency and uh, safety to your place. A recall video and the slides of this webinar will be shared later. And uh, we will reserve five to 10 minutes for Q&A after our presentation. And we also invite uh, Iris uh, from Boxer uh, product division, Aon Boxer product division, and uh, she will also be here to help on your question if you have any uh, specific question related to uh, Boxer products. Then during webinar, we will give five posts and take it as a reference to develop our future product, which can better fit your requirement. We also live streaming this webinar through YouTube. So if there are people watching there, feel free to type uh, your question if you have any. We have a colleague and uh, she can help us to collect and pass the question to Zoom. So we can answer all the questions within this uh, single platform. And welcome to those who just joined. So let's get started. A uh, short introduction about myself. I'm Owen and uh, I'm the product solution manager of Aon. Uh, mainly responsible for seeking interesting application and collaborating with partners to bring sophisticated solution to business world. And that's how we met and collaborated with the uh, AI tech to build a uh, smart monitoring solution based on Aon NVIDIA Boxer. Aon is one of leading manufacturer of industrial and embedded PC. And uh, now uh, we Aon Europe would like to put ourselves as a solution provider to keep collaborating with partners within ecosystem and uh, bring our software combined solution into application to into application label to help our customers solve difficulties for their industry and their use case. And uh, we are pleased to have Alessia join today's webinar as well. And I will then pass the ball to her for introduction. Alessia, the stage is yours. Hello, hello everyone. It's a pleasure to be here with all of you. My name is Alessia Saggesa and I'm in charge of the sales and marketing department of uh, AI Tech, which is an Italian company developing uh, cutting edge video analytic solutions for doing in practice everything, but uh, we will discover this uh, in a while. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks to Alessia for her introduction. And uh, now let's take a look why we need the AI Tech analytic plugins, why we need smart monitoring and uh, why is it important. First, let's take a look at the traditional monitoring solution. So as you can see from the image, it's very uh, resource intensive, limited to machine or human. And uh, the owners need to invest a lot on their monitoring control room. And uh, usually in traditional solution, we count on human judgment and it's very likely to uh, get misjudgment due to long period of monitoring. Besides, Currently, camera worldwide collect a million gigabytes of data per day. So it's a shame that we only utilize very limited percent of lost data. And next but not least, we usually act passively within traditional monitoring solution. For example, uh, you may find out your car disappear next morning when you're about going to work. Then you start looking through hours of video to try to find out what happened last night. So what AI tech analytic plugins and the smart monitoring can help to improve here? The real-time analytics not only extract insights from video stream, but also allow you to have even best architecture. So combined with the automatic alert when defined event happen, smart monitoring allows you to take immediate action and uh, streamline your monitoring solution. As you don't need so many people to monitor or so many storage space to uh, recall the video clips. And uh, finally, the flexible structure of AI tags and data plugins enable you to build the sol solution which can fit best to your uh, use case. And uh, gradually, Alicia and I will uh, give more explanation regarding to this part in later slides. 
So let's first take a look uh, for how does this solution work. The AI Tech and AI uh, analytic plugins are installed within Aon NVIDIA Boxer as an edge computing device to do real-time video analytic. Then this edge device can be connected to either local server or cloud for recording and the uh, integration with the video management software, VNS. The VNS then can help to visualize the information extract from camera and send real time along and the record clip for playback when define event happen. And uh, as you can see here, I separate the use cases into two scenarios. The first is for small, medium or multiple dispersed locations such as retailer, casino, petrol station, etc. In such case, uh, you don't need uh, edge device to run lots of analytic plugins. Instead, you need several devices to run small amount of plugins uh, in multiple sites. So the entry level uh, products is a good fit for this kind of requirement. Second is for large single locations such as station, airport, shopping mall, etc. In such case, you need a device equips higher computing power for running multiple plugins in this single device and a single site. So products with higher uh, performance will be more suitable for your use case. Now I have separated the use case into two general scenarios. You must wonder uh, how would you know which platform suits you the best? Uh, and I will share the related information in later slides. So I mentioned before uh, that uh, this smart monitoring solution is built based on Aon's NVIDIA Boxer. And uh, our Boxer are powered by uh, NVIDIA JSON. So here we would like to give a rough idea regarding to JSON family. Currently there are four models and they are arranged from left to right based on different performance. JSON Nano is the entry level accelerator which has the lowest performance. Then JSON TX2 has higher computing power. Next is the Xavier NX, which is released, uh, just released recently. And the one with the highest computing power, AGX Xavier. All JSON family leverage the same software structure. Uh, it means you can start with entry level JSON Nano. And uh, once you found out the computing power is not enough, you can easily scale up to the one with higher uh, performance for your use case. So in this slide, we'd like to show Aon's offering with NVIDIA JSON to give you a whole picture. You may find out the layout is the same as last slide since I also sequence our products based on performance of different JSON. From left to right, uh, Boxer based on uh, JSON Nano, TX2, Xavier NX, and AJX Xavier. And what are strengths of our Boxer? Let's look at the left hand side first. As you can see here, it can ensure wide range temperature from minus 20 to 50 Celsius. The fan is designed to uh, prevent risk from dust and the uh, wide voltage support from 9 to 24 watts make our boxer suitable for industrial environment. The chassis is default to have IP40 rating, but you could for sure discuss with us if you have other requirement to uh, chassis. And now let's look at the right hand side. As you can see, we provide Boxer with different I.O. and a different form factor to fulfill uh, any project requirement. And it also supports wireless technology to bring convenience for a situation uh, that is difficult for wiring setup. Then come to aspect of cost. It's cost effective. We compare the price of a similar model from our competitor and the price of our Boxer is 40%, around 40% cheaper. Uh, let's go another list. I mentioned before there's possibility to do customization and it's not only for chassis. For board, if you have such requests, you could also discuss with us based on project. So here I would like to launch our first poll to understand what are important points you would take into consideration while developing a video analytic or AI project.
So this is this would be a reference for us, like uh, when we developing our new skill or a new boxer, or when we collaborate with our partners, we will take uh, this idea into as a reference, then to design a product or application solution that better fit your requirement. Yeah. So from now, uh, I see the result. Uh, most of uh, attendees think uh, wireless function is very important since uh, I think in industrial, you need a compact uh, setup. Then uh, while wiring setup may not be so uh, so suitable for their application. And the next one is the suitable IO. So for each industry uh, or each application, you will need a special IO. Yeah. Okay, so I will finish this poll uh, after 10 seconds and move on. So in this slide, you could get a quick overview of Boxer for their performance ranking and the uh, naming rule. The entry level Boxer based on just nano is coming with the name uh, A22X. Then higher performance one based on uh, TX2 coming with the name A1XX. Next is the one based on Xavier NX coming with name A25X. And the highest performance one, uh, AGX Xavier A24X. So here is like to give you an overview regarding to perform uh, performance ranking. And uh, you can know the Jesse Nano is the entry level, TX2 is the mainstream, and the uh, WNX is also the mainstream. And the highest one is the uh, AGX Xavier. And also it could be a good reference for you once you want to search the boxer with certain uh, JSON mo module within it. I believe you now have an idea regarding to NVIDIA JSON family and the uh, Aon NVIDIA Boxer. Now let's come to the point. In these two slides, I would like to cover uh, what's the analytic capacity of each Boxer and how many plugins you could run on it. We separated AI text analytic plugins into five categories based on different uh, resource cons consumption. So you can see uh, there are five rules here. The first and second are deep learning uh, analytic plugins, and the third to fifth one are non deep. The matrix is developed based on the condition of each analytic channel can run under average working frame per second. So the number on the left means the maximum quantity of plugins you can run our boxer per single category exclusively. So, for example, on just a nano platform, you could run uh, two of plugins within first category. And uh, in such condition, you don't have uh, additional computing power for other plugins and so on. So within this page, you could see the performance metrics of Boxer based on JSON nano and the JSON TX2. Then in this slide, you could see the metrics based on Boxer of Xavier NX and the AJX Xavier. This could be a good reference while building your uh, video analytic project. You will have more idea for which buster is suitable for your use cases since uh, sometimes you don't need so many uh, analytic plugins and you can re refer to this and uh, so that the suitable one. I won't go through every details here. The slides will be shared. So you could re uh, refer to page eight and nine for details if you are interested. I would like to launch our second poll to understand which performance indicator you think is important for AI or a video analytic project?
can see from the result, uh, the more important tool would be accuracy and uh, analytic capacities. So it means uh, number of analytic channels can run on single edge device would be important to the attendees and uh, the accuracy rate. Yeah. So I will end this poll uh, after 15 seconds. Yeah, then move on. So in this slide, you could get a quick overview uh, of, of our Boxer uh, Prada Roadmap. The Prada launched recently are based on Xavier NX and uh, which are Boxer 8251 and the 8250. Then in Q4, we will launch products based on just a Nano Xavier NX and the HX Xavier. Next year, Q1, there is another new product based on Xavier NX will be released. So you may wonder why so many products and so many skills uh, we're planning in the roadmap. As I mentioned before, we provide Boxer uh, with different form factor and IO to fulfill different kinds of uh, requirement from the market. So you learn the foundation of this solution. Now, uh, I would like to give you an overview in terms of uh, use cases as a starting point. And from next slide, I will pass the ball to Alicia to take you deep dive into how AI tech solution can help you on your use case. As you can see here, AI video analytics can help on plenty of verticals. In general, AI video analytics can help to extract insights and uh, provide real time notice for in time action then increase operational efficiency and uh, security across so many industries. So let's take retail store, for example. You could leverage heat mapping to understand the hard zone or cold zone and uh, take it as a reference for your uh, shop floor layout uh, strategy define, definition. Or you could use the VIP or Blackmix recognition to uh, differentiate the user shoplifter or the VIP customer and uh, take uh, appropriate action to increase uh, customer uh, satisfaction and uh, reduce the risk of uh, safety. And there are unlimited possible use cases that you could develop based on AI video analytics. So if you have any interesting idea and uh, you don't know where to start, feel free to contact us. Maybe there's something we could help. So now I will pass the ball to Alicia for introduction on AI text video analytics. So Alicia, the stage is yours and uh, I will give you the remote control. So I think uh, now you could control the slides. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Let me check if I can control the slides. Uh, oh. Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. So thanks again for uh, this very interesting first part of the presentation. Let's continue to understand uh, which are the different types of analytics that uh, we can use in different vertical markets. Uh, at AI Tech, what we do is developing artificial intelligence technologies in old markets, old vertical, old vertical markets we discussed uh, up to now. Uh, let's enter into, into details. So the first market we are going to, to discuss uh, about will be the retail 
market. We can talk about retail, not only when thinking about, for instance, shopping mall, but more generally, in any kind of situation where the control of persons, of people's flows is required. For doing what? From traditional people counting through the gates, so for instance, for understanding the number of persons populating a, a building, but uh, also for crowd estimation. Now a very important topic uh, we will discuss deeply in a while uh, is to understand even in very, very crowded environment, the number of persons populating that uh, area for understanding the customer trends, uh, but also for uh, uh, analyzing the most interesting part inside the shopping mall. So for instance, the most interesting shelf, uh, or still uh, for queue management, for understanding if there are too many persons waiting in queue and so as to raise an alarm and automatically opening a new cashier, so for increasing the customer satisfaction. Finally, for uh, uh, doing such that the person has to wait less uh, waiting in uh, queue. There is also the traditional heat map you can see here on the left. Basically, you can visualize on a map the so-called hot zones and dead areas, so the most interesting, the most visited parts of the, the scene in red, the less interesting parts of the scene in uh, blue, green. How to do it? With different plugins. So AI people is in charge of people counting through the gates. Uh, AI crowd and over crowd are still in charge of crowd estimation and alarm in case of excessive number of persons inside an area. AI occupancy and AI over occupancy for density estimation, both from alarmistic and statistical point of view. AI it for it mapping, and finally AI bio for face analysis for understanding if a given person is a female, is a male, so for gender recognition, but also for age estimation. Uh, so for both application in retail and business intelligence, but also for instance for digital signage, you can imagine to have a monitor, uh, typically what you have is a set of contents, a set of advertisement contents statically projected on that monitor, one behind the other one. So what you can do thanks to this kind of solution is to allow the customization of uh, the content shown on a monitor. So as to strongly increase uh, the effectiveness of your marketing uh, campaign. Uh, let's go a step on and let's move from retail uh, to security. Uh, security for more traditional intrusion detection, so for detecting the presence of a given object, a person, a vehicle, or still an animal inside an area. Solution that can be combined both with the traditional and thermal cameras. Uh, but uh, you can also think uh, this application is AI intrusion, so in charge of uh, entering in forbidden area, crossing line, what it's often referred to as tripwire detection or multiple tripwire trip detection, but also for loitering detection, so for, for verifying if a person is staying into an area for a long time uh, or for um, uh, loitering, for lost detection, so for, for verifying uh, if uh, um, there is an abandoned or a removed object in the scene, for instance, garbage uh, in smart city environment, but also, for instance, uh, the baggages into airports or into train station. Uh, another very interesting application for security environment is AI spill for fall detection. So for verifying the fact that the person is 
falling down. The solution is very advanced since it does not only identify the fact that the person is stopped on the ground, but it still it's based on an advanced mathematical model. So what it evaluates is the fact that the person is walking, a person falls down, and then a person stays on the ground. Uh, finally, uh, two other very interesting solutions are uh, AI5 Deep and AI Smoke Deep, in charge respectively of flame detection and smoke detection, both in indoor and outdoor environments. Uh, let's move to the next vertical that uh, we can face with uh, with this uh, solution we are going to, to propose you today, uh, which is a quite, mm, let me say, vertical vertical, in the sense that uh, it's a quite specific uh, solution for facing what the situation we are living uh, now. So what are the requirements of uh, nowadays in any kind of environments from airport uh, train station, metro station, but also in a shopping mall, in, uh, uh, in buildings, so really in smart city, so really everywhere. It's not a real, a real vertical market, but instead is a solution that can be transversally used in any kind of uh, uh, situation, any kind of environment where it's required to First of all, understand if a person is wearing or not a mask, for instance, for blocking the access if a person is not wearing uh, a mask. Uh, today in Italy, uh, we had the news that uh, in our region is still mandatory during all the time, both indoor and outdoor, to wear all the day long a mask. So there is uh, the requirement of having a way for controlling these so as to automatically alert the persons that something is going uh, wrong and something needs to be done. But also there is uh, the uh, requirement of uh, um, understanding how many persons are there inside a building. So if there are too many persons, there uh, you have to put a kind of alarm, please wait, you cannot enter. Also, it is required to detect uh, the number of persons in a very crowded environment, maybe also by using already existing surveillance cameras, because finally often the most big investment is uh, the infrastructure. Thanks to, to the solution we are going to propose, you can uh, apply this kind of uh, add-on, let me say, this kind of solution, not only over new installations, but also over already existing installations. Finally, last but not least, there is uh, the social distance uh, analytics. So the requirements is uh, to understand if two persons are too close to each other. So if there is a gathering, if two persons are too close to each other, then an alarm can be still raised. So a full solution for fighting what we are, uh, the situation we are experiencing uh, now. Uh, let's move to the last vertical uh, I'm going to, to discuss. The last vertical uh, is about uh, uh, smart road, smart parking, and more general smart vehicle, uh, smart city solutions. So up to now, we mainly talked about the way uh, for uh, uh, analyzing people, let me say, with AI crowd deep, with AI face detect deep for face mask and mask detection. Uh, but in, uh, and also environment, for instance, for abandoned object on the street or flame smoke detection. But there is also something else that uh, we could do uh, to monitor the roads. So to monitor everything related to vehicles. 
Uh, we have uh, three very big solutions for doing uh, that. Uh, let me start with the AI parking solution, this one. So the one you can see on the bottom left. Uh, the solution is AI parking and it is in charge of understanding if a given free slot that you can see identifying by red and green square is occupied or not. Um, still talking about vehicle, what we can propose also to you is the solution for uh, obtaining both statistical and alarmistic information. So A AI Road 3D is in charge of identifying any kind of statistical uh, information about your street. So vehicle counting, classification, density estimation for each vehicle, the possibility to estimate the color, or the average speed. Uh, if we think about the alarms that our solution, AI incident, uh, is able to detect, we can think about congestion detection, we can think about the presence of a pedestrian on the road, the presence of a stopped vehicle, but also the presence of the vehicle crossing a street on the wrong way or going too fast, so with a too high speed. Uh, if you put everything together, finally you can note that uh, we have the biggest solution you may wish for smart city, combining people, environment, and uh, uh, pedestrian and people. Uh, okay, we discussed up to now how to generate data. So up to now we say to you how to provide this huge amount of data for both statistical and alarmistic purposes. Now the question becomes, okay, how to manage this data? So this solution is integrated with a lot of different VMS uh, brand uh, with, let me say, uh, the most important VMS uh, today available uh, in the market, so third party VMS but we also support uh, a lot of standard protocols. So for instance, in case of an alarm, you can send uh, an email. So we support SMTP protocol, but also HTTP, uh, both in terms of customizable um, uh, GET or REST framework with the payload transmitted in a standard JSON format, uh, but also FTP, UDP or TCP. Modbus TCP and MQTT, which is becoming the standard in the IoT uh, world. Finally, if you think we are saying that the camera is not only a way for just recording what and seeing what is happening, but we are transforming a camera into a sensor generating events. So this kind of solution can be seen like a kind of sensor generating events. So the MQTT protocol is becoming something very, very important. Uh, but also, we also, in case, let me say, you don't know how to manage your data, we also offer a solution. The solution is AI-Pro, uh, which is a web application, it's a dashboard. Uh, that um, can be used for collecting the data coming from different devices, uh, even in different places. So everything in a single place. Then the next requirement is to aggregating, to aggregate all this information. Think, for example, to a building where you have uh, 10 different entrances. So one camera over each entrance. So you have more system, more boxer required in different parts of, um, uh, of this big building. So different people counting the system. But you finally need to understand the number of persons inside that building. So somehow you need to aggregate everything. Uh, then you also have a way for visualizing and for reporting. You can forget about the dashboard and you can just see in your email a report including all the information required. Also, it's also a very useful tool for uh, uh, monitoring alarms in case a VMS is not required. So it's not a tool for 
recording. If you need to record, you need a VMS, an external VMS. But if you need only to visualize the alarm, the dashboard, a yeah, dash pro can be a solution for you. Uh, finally, from the, the diagnostic point of view, because one of uh, the most critical situation uh, could be related to the fact that something may be wrong. Let me say, you can have a disconnection on the network. So in this case, you have no idea that something got wrong in the installation and that, let me say, the people counting system is no more generating uh, events. Thanks to the dashboard, the boxer with the plugin, together with the dashboard, has a kind of a heartbeat, a still alive mechanism. So periodically, uh, the application says, I'm alive, I'm alive. So what it means is that finally, in real time, the dashboard knows if something gets wrong. And of course, inform immediately the human operator. So it's a kind of proactive system supporting not, also, not only in the visualization of the data, but also in the maintenance of the system. So it's a solution finally, not only from the final user point of view, but also from the system integrator uh, point of view. So from the maintainer point of view. These are some examples of the uh, solution and of the different charts that you can visualize uh, inside the, the dashboard. You can decide which kind of device to see, uh, which kind of chart, and you can also integrate uh, if the internet connection is available with the weather uh, system for correlating the data related to the number of persons, for instance, to the uh, data related um, to the weather information. Everything can be also sent inside the PDF, collecting all the data you asked to the system through a simple PDF report that you can get in your email once a day, once a week, once a month, whatever you want. Uh, finally, the last topic I would like uh, to discuss about uh, is related to the designing of the system. So the typical question when starting designing a new system is, okay, I put the camera in this way, but how many cameras do I need for covering everything? Hey, there is not a generic question since it depends on the specific plugin that you are looking for. It also depends uh, on the height of installation of uh, the camera. It depends on the installation tilt angle of uh, the camera, on the uh, processing resolution. So there is not a generic question. So how to make possible something that at the beginning uh, may seem to be impossible or at least very, very time consuming and then very uh, expensive, uh, also from an economic point of view, uh, the designing of this kind of a system. Well, the solution is very, very simple because we provide our partners uh, with uh, a, a free tool. So uh, feel free to ask um, access to this tool. You can surely have uh, this. You can put the camera on the map, choose the uh, the plugin, choose the specific characteristic of the camera you are considering for your installation and automatically the system uh, will draw the, the cone related to the maximum distance that that given plugin, so that given video analytic solution for people counting, for crowd estimation, for vehicle monitoring can, can reach. In this way, what it's typically very, very expensive, becomes very, very simple and with a very, very uh, low time required. Also, you can take a PDF report containing all the information inside the tool and just share with your, uh, with your uh, customer. Uh, also, it could be useful to have access to this uh, technical overview portal. Uh, here you can find not only the user uh, manuals uh, in the form of some web page that can be finally easily traduced uh, thanks to Google Translator into any kind of language. Unfortunately, we support Italian and English language. 
Um, but you also contain, it also contains all our training course from lesson zero, what is video analytics and everything you need to know about video analytic solutions, uh, up to the very, very uh, advanced configuration parameter in case you could be interesting in, uh, uh, in it. Uh, so the access is uh, free please uh, feel free. Uh, okay. Let me yeah, pass the control to Owen. I think that there is a, okay, Paul, but I don't see it. Uh, yeah, since uh, you, you run so smoothly, so I don't okay. want to break the tempo, but no problem. Yeah, so before we enter the Q&A section, I would like to launch our third poll. Uh, since uh, Alessia mentioned regarding to the vertical markets that can be applied by AI tech solution and also the dashboard to visualize the information and also send report and alarm. So I think uh, you have a rough idea regarding to what could be applied by uh, smart monitoring and the video analytics. So I would like to uh, understand uh, what vertical markets would you be interested in for uh, these smart uh, monitoring use cases. So this could be also take us a reference uh, while uh, we discuss with uh, either AI tech or uh, video analytic partner. Uh, we could see uh, which section, which vertical section has the more uh, interest and uh, we discuss based on that to see what application, what new application is needed and will be the trend for that uh, vertical market and uh, take it as a reference for our uh, product roadmap definition, yeah. Okay, uh, share some result. Currently, as I see, uh, the transportation and the public sector and the manufacturing are the three topics, uh, three uh, vertical markets have more interest. I think uh, related to uh, public sector and the transportation, we can say like uh, due to coronavirus and uh, we need uh, this kind of solution to do people counting occupancy and the uh, mask or even temperature detection. Yeah. So I will reserve uh, 10 more seconds, then we will move on to uh, Q&A section. Right. So thank you everyone for joining. And uh, again, I'm Owen and uh, thanks to Alessia. And uh, feel free if you have any question, uh, you can uh, reach to us or now you can also type in the Q&A box, then we will pick up and uh, answer it. And also here you can see there's a QR code. So uh, if you are interested and you have some project plan you want to discuss and feel free to scan it and uh, type the information. It's very simple, just name, email address and uh, uh, industry then we will contact you and for discussion to uh, see what we can build together. And uh, from the Q&A box, now I see, uh, I see one question regarding to uh, any chance for us to share the slides. Yes, we will share it. So after the webinar, our guy will share the slides to all the attendees. So no worry about this part. Uh, there's uh, another question from Ronnie. And uh, Ronnie asked about, will Aeon offer some kind of a software data kit? Mm, I could answer first, and I think uh, Iris could help me to add more. Uh, from our boxer, we we install with the AC Linux, uh, the license, uh, the AC Linux operating system, and uh, it's equipped with the NVIDIA Jetpack uh, software package. So uh, this will be a bundle solution that you can purchase and uh, you can develop based on it.
So I hope uh, this helps on your question. This is a uh, sorry. This is Iris yeah. uh, regarding the uh, software start uh, starter key. Actually, our uh, Aon Baxter series actually uh, offer the S Linux. But aside from that, we do know that customer usually they choose mm -hmm. lots of the customized function. So this is why we have our software partner to support us. So if you have because each case we have to discuss a case by case usually. So we will provide a basic function uh, within our Boxer product, but for more uh, customizations that will be put into further discussion. Okay, thanks to Iris. So yeah, are you involved in, there's a new question. Are you involved in the NVIDIA GTC conference from October 6th to 8th? And are there any speakers there who have used your tools or solutions? Regarding to this one, I was this uh, SPD join. Uh, so the question is like, are we involved in a media GEC conference on uh, October 6 to 8? Any speakers yeah. there who will use our tools and solutions? Um, so basically our uh, ex activity here is uh, separate from the, our uh, head of head HQ from our head office. So possibly from our head office, there will be someone to join from our business unit, but this one we have to uh, check, but we do uh, pop not with the NVIDIA, we are part of their uh, uh, hardware, uh, hardware partner, which means sometimes if they have conference or activity, they do use our solution, but maybe not, uh, they won't inform us because kind of uh, separate uh, business units sometimes. But we can double check if you're interesting, we will announce that also promote in our marketing uh, zone. And, uh, let's wait for maybe one minute to see if there are more questions coming. Okay, I guess that's it. And uh, thanks for joining our uh, webinar. And uh, if you have any question or uh, any in, uh, interesting points you want to dis discuss, feel free to contact me or Alessia and uh, we could help you on uh, your questions. And uh, thanks for uh, Alessia and uh, Iris to join as a co-host for this webinar. So yeah, I Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is an interesting feedback. Thank you. Oh, okay. So yeah. Uh, thank you so, all. So have thanks a nice a lot evening. to yeah. all of you also from yeah. our side. So let's keep in touch. We are yeah. here for answer uh, twenty of your questions. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye everyone. Bye. Thank you.